Hi, Alan Forsberg here with a framing video on land subsidence. As we learned, the Mekong Delta is one of the regions most vulnerable to sea level rise, but that's only half the story. While sea level is rising at about 3.2 millimeters per year, the Delta also faces the far more immediate threat of land subsidence. The rate at which the land is subsiding can outpace sea level rise substantially. Ho Chi Minh City is sinking at around 4 centimeters per year. So why is the delta subsiding? There are a number of factors involved. First of all, terra firma is not so solid. In fact, the Earth's crust floats on the underlying mantle, which is squishy in places. Loading a large amount of weight in one place can make the land sink. This is known as the principle of isostasy. For example, during the ice ages, polar regions subside under the immense weight of the glaciers and ice sheets. But glaciers are not the only things that throw their weight around. The relatively abrupt addition of the weight of water in a large man-made reservoir can also trigger unusual seismic activity in a region that is not known for earthquakes. As we have learned thus far, river systems are more than just water passing through. Sediments are also significant inputs and outputs of the system. Unobstructed rivers provide inputs of sediment to coastal systems, including beaches and deltas. As sediments are gradually deposited, the added weight causes the entire region to slowly sink. There is a bit of, of, of momentum in the delta's downward movement, but the river's constant supply of new layers of deposited sediment usually balances out the natural subsidence and the level of the delta is maintained. Remember we were speaking in terms of geologic time? Deltas are built up by the deposition of fertile river sediments over thousands of years. Here, ice age induced sea level change affects the pattern of deposition over time. As the delta forms, groundwater fills the pore spaces between the sediment particles, forming an aquifer. Compaction of these waterlogged sediments is another factor contributing to subsidence. As layer upon layer of sediments are added to the delta, the water gets squeezed out of the lower layers as they become compacted, eventually cementing into sedimentary rock. When groundwater is pumped out of the aquifer faster than it can be replenished, the water table drops and these sediments compact faster. The land subsides because the groundwater actually helps prop up the level of the land. Here we see the correlation between dropping water levels on the left and the rate of subs subsidence on the right. Ho Chi, Pin, Ho Chi Minh City is sinking fastest because the weight of urban infrastructure compacts underlying soils and its non-porous roofs and pavements prevent surface waters from percolating back down into the earth and recharging groundwater. Another factor contributing to subsidence is sediment starvation. If the river's supply of sediment is suddenly cut off by an upstream dam or by sand mining, the delta continues to subside for a time without new layers of sediment to balance it out. The clean, sediment-free water coming out of upstream dams also causes more erosion downstream as it has a greater capacity to pick up and move sediment. That the Mekong is a transboundary river makes this an international issue. 
Embankments and levees on the delta itself can also block replenishment of sediments. This is a leading cause of loss of the Mississippi Delta. Processes of sediment deposition don't only occur in coastal regions. Where a fast-flowing stream in a steep canyon empties out onto a flat plain, a land form similar to a delta forms. These alluvial fans are good places to look for groundwater. Often the natural valley will fill up with sediment, forming an aquifer. Here is an example of one underlying the cities of Fez and Meknes in Morocco. Another example is the Central Valley of California, which is essentially a long trough filled with waterlogged sediments eroded off the surrounding mountains over millions of years. These fertile sediments are over 9,000 feet thick in places and form one of the country's most important agricultural regions. Central Valley farmers began pumping up groundwater for irrigation in the 1860s. Over the next century, the water table dropped by over 400 feet in places. The accelerated compaction of sediments has resulted in widespread land subsidence. Some places have subsided by nearly 30 feet. Thank you very much.